Have you ever wondered how modern libraries manage thousands of books, users, and transactions seamlessly? Behind the scenes, it all comes down to well-organized systems. And one essential tool for visualizing such systems is the object diagram. In today's video, we'll explore how to build a clean and informative object diagram for a library management system using Wondershare eDraw Max, the all-in-one diagramming platform trusted by IT professionals and system architects worldwide. Before jumping into the demo, let's break down what an object diagram really is. In the world of UML, short for Unified Modeling Language, an object diagram captures a snapshot of the system's structure at a specific point in time. Think of it as a real-world instance of a class diagram. Instead of showing potential relationships like a class diagram does, an object diagram shows actual objects and their relationships at runtime. In the context of a library system, this could include specific books, users, payments, and borrowing transactions as they exist in a given moment. It's especially useful for understanding object relationships, data flow, and system behavior without diving into code. Now let's see how to build one using eDraw Max. Start by opening the application and selecting New Blank Drawing from the home page. This gives us a fresh canvas to work on. In the left-hand search bar, type UML Class Diagram to bring up relevant shapes and objects. While we're technically creating an object diagram, the UML class shapes provide exactly what we need, objects, text blocks, and connectors. From here, drag key object elements onto the canvas. For this library system, you might include objects like book, member, payment, and borrow record. Once placed, label each object with clear, consistent attribute values. For example, a book object might have a title, ISBN, and availability status, while a member could include name, membership ID, and email. Next, style each object for clarity. Align them neatly and apply a unified color palette. This not only improves readability, but also makes the diagram visually engaging for documentation and presentations. Now, use connectors to establish logical associations between the objects. For instance, a member borrows a book, or a payment is tied to a borrow record. Make sure each connector accurately reflects the interaction, using direction arrows if needed. Once your diagram is complete, take a final moment to review the structure. Is it intuitive? Are the relationships easy to trace? If so, go to File Export to save your diagram in high resolution. It's now ready to be embedded in reports, presentations, or your project documentation. Object diagrams help bridge the gap between conceptual design and real-time data visualization. Whether you're designing a library system or debugging a complex workflow, eDraw Max makes it easy to communicate your ideas clearly and professionally. Visible thinking, efficient expression. Start visualizing real-world systems today with eDraw Max.